Good evening and welcome to the Channel Studios here in London with your international news around the world in five. Gas prices have soared after Russia further cut gas supplies to Germany and other Central European countries after threatening to earlier this week. European gas prices rose 9%, trading close to its earlier all-time high, after Russia invaded Ukraine. Critics accused the Russian government of using gas as a political weapon. Russia has been cutting flows through the Nord Stream 1 pipeline to Germany, with it now operating at less than a fifth of its normal capacity. U.S. media reports that the Justice Department is examining Donald Trump's actions in connection with efforts to overturn the results of the 2020 election. We may just have to do it again. It comes after the former president teased a return bid for the White House in a 93-minute speech to the conservative America First Policy Institute. Federal prosecutors have reportedly asked witnesses directly about the behavior of the former U.S. president. So far, they have chosen not to open a formal criminal investigation into Mr. Trump himself. Rioters stormed the U.S. Capitol on the 6th of January in 2021 in an effort to overturn the president's election defeat. Footage from a 7.1 magnitude earthquake in the Philippines which killed four people has been released. Here, video showing cars crushed under fallen debris. The quake struck about 11 kilometers southeast of the town of Dolores at a shallow depth of 10 kilometers. Still photographs released by the Bureau of Fire Protection showed first responders at various sites of collapsed buildings and structures after the powerful quake struck the northern Philippine island of Luzon. A Sri Lankan lawmaker says the country's former president, Gotabaya Rajapaksa, is expected to return to the country from Singapore. A cabinet spokesperson told reporters that Mr Rajapaksa was not in hiding, but the date of his return was not known. The former leader fled Sri Lanka after mass unrest over an economic crisis. Many protesters say he mishandled the nation's finances, leading to soaring prices of essential goods. French President Emmanuel Macron has arrived in Benin to discuss security and trade. Mr Macron is on a tour of Cameroon, Benin and Guinea-Bissau to strengthen political and security ties with countries in West and Central Africa. Benin, alongside the Gulf of Guinea states, Togo and Ivory Coast, has seen increasing attacks from militants linked to Al-Qaeda and Islamic State as violence spread south from the Sahel countries of Mali, Burkina Faso and Niger. Over 400 migrants on board a German charity rescue ship, Sea-Watch 3, continue to wait to be assigned a port of safety after a busy weekend of rescue operations. The migrants were on board overcrowded boats in distress in the central Mediterranean when reconnaissance aircraft Seabird located them and communicated their position to the rescue ship. More than 37,000 asylum seekers and migrants have landed in Italy since the start of the year, up from some 27,000 in the same period last year. That's according to data from Italy's Interior Ministry. The Pope has arrived in Quebec City to meet government officials and diplomats as part of his week-long tour of Canada. It's after Pope Francis, seated in a wheelchair, blessed a lake before speaking of the wound of violence suffered by indigenous brothers and sisters and the terrible effects of colonization. Francis is on a week-long tour of Canada to apologize for the Roman Catholic Church's role in running residential schools that tore indigenous children away from their families and became places where abuse was rampant. More than 150,000 indigenous children were separated from their families and brought to residential schools over more than a century. And finally, the space jacket worn by Buzz Aldrin while flying to the moon has sold at a New York auction for $2.8 million. Adorned with a U.S. flag and NASA logo, Mr. Aldrin wore the white in-flight jacket while speeding through space in Apollo 11's Command Module Columbia. It is one of 69 personal belongings that the 92-year-old has decided to put up for sale. The jacket was sold by Sotheby's and becomes the most valuable American space artifact ever sold at auction. The former astronaut travelled to the moon in 1969 and is the only living member of the mission's three-man crew. An estimated 650 million people from around the world watch the moment on television. And that's your international news around the world in five. Now back to the Channel Studios in Lagos.